In this video session, we're going to take a look at Corel Connect. Connect was introduced in Corel Draw X5. It's also available in Corel Draw X6. It was not available in X3 or X4. And we want to take a look at how this works because Connect can be a very handy way for you to manage your media assets, that being your clip art, design templates, any images or things like that, or collections of images that you use frequently in Jar or want to be able to access very quickly and very easily through the Corel Draw application. Connect comes in as a docker. I'll go ahead and minimize this and you can get to it up here in the standard property bar, excuse me, standard toolbar by clicking on it and that'll bring it open or you can go to window dockers and click on connect. I also want to open the tray in this session so we can see how that works also. And I'll go ahead and bring that up there and then I'm just going to go ahead and minimize that because this tray docker shows up at the bottom of your design area. Go ahead and minimize that for now. We know we've got a tray here if we want to open that back up. All I have to do is come over here to the arrows and that will expand it back up or we can collapse it. Now looking at Connect when you first come in you'll be set to the Corel Draw Graphics Suite X6 content and if you go to this little arrow over here and move it over you'll see some folders here. Now I want to take a look at the favorites here. First of all you have some default favorites and we'll probably want to remove these so we can just right click and select remove from favorites and then bring this back here expand here now you notice these bars won't move but if you click on the little arrow here then you can move them and manage them and I want to right click here and select remove from favorites for that also and I'll go ahead and minimize here now I'm going to go to folders and right now I'm set to desktop and that's why you're seeing the baseball and softball designs and we could say that these were some of our media assets well what I want to do is put really put all of these into one folder into one central location where I can just access them easily through connect but what I like to do when I work with connect really is I like to be outside of the docker environment I don't like to be set up as a docker so to do is I'll left click here on the tab on the right hand side hold down and move that and release it and I'll break apart or bring connect out of the docker and then I'm going to have a much larger workspace for working with Connect. I can also go down here and left click in the corner and change the size of this. If you have double monitors, you could move this over to the other side. Now what I want to do is take a look at this here. You've got this arrow here. If you click that, that'll bring out your browsing area here. Once again, you need to click on the little arrows to open things up. Now what I would do typically is I'd create a new folder on my desktop or somewhere on my computer and just set that up as one of my favorites and I'll go ahead and do that right now. I've got here on my desktop I've got my softball and my baseball design folders. These could be clip art folders or any type of design assets you'd be working with. I'll just right click and go to new and select folder and I'll call this folder my art or, w or whatever you'd want to call it on your system and then I'll just go ahead and lasso these two folders of art and drag them and drop them into my art go ahead and bring Corel back up. Now you can see we've got this folder on our desktop called My Art. Go ahead and click this arrow to open up my folder view. Right click on this and I'll click and add this to favorites. And Then I'll go ahead and maximize my favorites and minimize my folders. Now for My Art I can double click on this and I'll get in to see my folders. Now you notice if I come up here and turn off folders I won't see my folders. So if you don't see folders it's because it's unselected up here at the top. Go ahead and double click on baseball and then I'll go ahead and load all the thumbnails for that design. Now from within the interface of Connect there's a number of different things we can do. We can change the size of our previews here if we want to see more just by sliding left click hold down and slide. You notice if you roll over a design you'll get an enlarged preview of that. If you click one time to select the design you'll have some buttons available down here. You've got open, import, import at original position, import and link and you've also got open source location which would open the folder from the desktop. Also I can manage my assets up here. If I turn off vectors I'm not going to see any vector resources and those are all vectors so I want to have those on but if I had vector and bitmap mixed together and I only wanted to see the vector I could click off bitmaps and all the bitmaps would not show up in my list and I would only see my vectors. So you can see how we can very easily manage and sort through different media assets working with Connect. 
Now, if I take one of these designs and I just click here and I select, let's say, import, then I can go ahead and minimize my connect, go to my document, and you can see I've got my import set up here, and I can just left click and drop, and that'll be imported into my workspace, as you can see right there. Now, if you want to maximize connect again, if you click here, you're going to go back to the Docker. And that's not what you want to do. You want to click here to restore. And that'll bring it back to the full size. Because if you minimize and then click here, you're going to go back to your Docker. As you can see there. And then you're going to have to go left click on the tab and break it apart again. And it's not going to be in the same size as it was as you had it before. Left click here in the corner, drag out, and make it bigger again. And then if you want to open your browser, just click on this arrow right here. Now, looking at the tray, what we can do with the tray in combination with Connect, and I'll go ahead and make this a little bit smaller here. And I'm going to go ahead and expand the tray here at the bottom. And this tray, I can come down here, right click on this, and select Rename, and I'll call this Baseball. And that's my baseball tray. Now, I can take designs that I like, if I want to sort even more, and drop them into this tray different ones that I like so I'm only going to have a few different things that I'm dealing with in a tray. I can also come over here to the right and click on add a new tray and I'll call this tray softball. Now you can start to see how it is you can manage your media assets. Once again if you click on one of these here in baseball you'll have the same buttons you had available in connect. Or you can remove from tray right here. Now if I go to softball there's my baseball, here's my softball. There's nothing here, but if I go back to my favorites, go to my art, double click on softball, and I can start to add some design assets to my tray from softball. Left click, hold down, drag, and release. And that's now in my softball tray. Click off, click on baseball, I'll go to my baseball designs, click on softball, I'll go into my softball designs. Now I can see that I misspelled that, so I could click on rename and just delete that A and have that spelled correctly. I can also delete the tray and close the tray from a right click on that tab. So we've covered some of the fundamentals relating to Corel Connect and we can see how we could streamline searching for managing and working with our design assets or design templates, clip art and things like that that we have available or we've purchased to use in our Corel Draw Graphics Suite. So we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next se se session on getting started with CorelDraw X6.